it is awareness of the surroundings and response to external stimuli the external stimuli can be physical chemical or biological the stimuli are perceived by sense organs in higher animals example eyes ears nose plants do not possess such sophisticated sense organs however they do respond to external factors such as light water temperature pollutants other organisms etc photo periods duration of daily exposure to light influence reproduction in those animals and plants which breed during particular season seasonal breeders all organisms from primitive prokaryotics to most advanced and complex eukaryotics are able to sense and respond to environmental factors organisms also handle chemicals entering their bodies human beings have an additional faculty of self consciousness awareness of self consciousness is said to be the defining property of living organism if a patient is lying in coma and is supported by machines for various function self consciousness and consciousness to external environment are supposed to be absent some of these patients never come back to normal life they can neither be called living nor non living or dead sixth one is organization a living being has an organization that is the living being consists of several components and sub components which cooperate with one another one another for the well being of the whole organism a living being has multiple level organization each level of organization has its own properties which are not found in its constituents a cellular and gen <coughs> Ganel develops a property not found in its interacting molecular components. A living cell has its own characteristics not found in its organelles. A tissue is able to have a trait not found in its constituent cells. Energy. Living beings constantly require energy not only to perform various activities of the body but also to overcome entropy or tendency to random randomness the source of energy is food it is required by every cell of the body homeostasis homeostasis a favorable internal environment suitable for the functioning of body organs is present in every living being it is quite different from the external environment changes in external environment do not have much impact on the internal environment as the living beings have a self regulated system to adjust and maintain the internal environment the phenomenon is called homeostasis homeostasis is also present in each cell of multicellular organism ninth is variation living beings possess variation and have the ability to evolve with time tenth is adaptation useful inheritable variation or changes in form function or in behavior which help an organism to adjust well and successfully in its environment are called adaptation an organism is considered best adapted to an environment when it possesses inherited traits and enhances its survival and ability to reproduce in that environment adaptation allow the organism to overcome seasonal and other changes in the environment there are two types short term adaptation is the most amphibians and reptiles and some mammals a long term adaptation example the claws of different birds are well adapted to suit their passing habits 11th healing and repair living beings can repair and heal the broken and injured parts 12th disposal of wastes waste generated by living beings are regularly disposed of movements living beings so living beings so movements of their parts some are able to move from place to place the phenomenon is called locomotion life span every living organism has a definite life span of birth growth maturity sensation and death death 
the stoppage of various life activities by an individual organism accompanied by increase and in entropy is called death death occurs due to aging disease accident and predation aging normally occurs in all organism after a period of reproductive maturity it is however absent in some cases where the organism multiplies by binary fission example amoeba bacteria a fully grown amoeba or a bacterium divides into two daughters in the process it loses its independent existence here natural death is absent and the organism is immortal living organisms are therefore self replicating evolving and self regulatory interactive systems capable of responding to external stimuli sharing a common genetic material